Okay. Ah, let's get started with nice, deep, mindful breath. In deeply through your nose. Out deeply through your mouth. Give me a thumbs up if you can breathe through your nose today. Okay. We're gonna do some uh, nostril breathing. We haven't done this in a super long time. So I'm gonna take off my glasses so I can demonstrate. Your thumb gets on one, your right side of your nose and your middle finger, right? So we're, I mean, this doesn't do anything, it's just your anchor. <laughs> but as you inhale, release your nose and inhale and then pause. This could help you remember to pause maybe. And then as you exhale, And then as you inhale, pause, exhale. Do that a couple of times at your own pace. Don't change your fingers up, just keep it this way and then we'll switch sides. Maybe do a triangle breath where your inhales, your pausing and your exhales all are the same breath beat, like five beats or like seconds, I mean. Square breathing is nice where your pauses are the same at the top and at the bottom. Pick the rhythm that feels right to you. All right, let's, when you get to the end of your round, just breathe a little normally. Change hands. Begin again. Do it at your own pace, your own rhythm. As you inhale, you release your note, your thumb on one nostril. As you pause, you plug up both sides. As you exhale, you release from the other nostril. As you pause, you plug up both sides. Slow and controlled, your pace. Maybe do two more rounds. We hardly hold our breath when we when we do our mindful breathing and our meditations, but sometimes 
it's good to shake it up. Especially if I feel symptomatic in my chest, I might hold my breath really tight to expand my diaphragm out a bit. Different styles of breathing are nice when you're going for that tool that you need in the moment. After you finish your rounds, be aware of your breath continuously so that it's slower and deeper than you would normally breathe. Getting into the practice of using your breath. It's an amazing mental health tool. Calming down the nervous system tool. Today is a journey, a mindful, careful journey. Today we're going to take a walk with our little kid self. We all have ages within ourselves of times when we just felt stuck or hurt, wounded. There become times even within our adulthood where this part of ourselves is still pretty relevant. Or you might be 35, 45, 55, and still at times feel 10. Think about your little kid self. If we did a healing walk today, what age would you like to visit yourself? Take a peek at this person, this child, this teenager. What does he or she look like? How are they dressed? If you were to look this little one in the eyes, would you get on your knees? Would you be eye to eye? Try to get on their level and, and greet them. It might be a handshake, it might be bump it, it might be a touch to the shoulder. They might have their head down. You might gently with love and support, bring your chin up so your eyes meet. Somehow give them a greeting that feels safe and warm. You have a lot to offer this little self. Is there a name you call yourself when you're little? A kind name? Like a nickname, a childhood name, or maybe it's just your adult name.
ask this child what it needs from you today. Did your child feel heard? How might you offer reassurances that the little one within yourself will be safe? We love to journey in, in soulful meditation. If you were to take your little kid's self somewhere safe to help them heal, where might that be? We're going to go there within your imagination, but ask them. Sometimes when we take journeys, we sit inside a cloud. That's our vehicle, a cloud that descends from the sky and we sit inside of it and it floats us where we want to go. Sometimes you blink and you're there. Sometimes you might walk to the land within your mind. What do you need to do with your little kid self? Do you need to grab his or her hand? Put your arm around their shoulder? Take a cloud? Let this be mindful. I'll give you about 60 seconds to arrive at your destination and then we'll do some healing activities. Now that you've reached your land, look around. What do you see? What makes this place feel safe? What do you notice? What does the temperature feel like on your skin? Are you indoors? 
Are you outdoors? Can you feel the weather, the sun, the breeze? Let's teach this little one how to root. Just like we do in our own meditations where we put roots outside of our feet. Watch as your little kid self, as you talk them through the sensation, as you talk him or her through how it can be helpful Watch and feel those roots come out of your little kid self and into the ground. They could come out of your feet. If your child is sitting, they can come out of their seat. Talk them through the sensation and the power that they're feeling Depending on your history, your little kid self may or may not have felt grounded a lot. Walk them through the feel of it. Teach them to put the roots down deep. Teach them to spread the roots out wide. If they want to invite another safe adult into this practice, allow it, safe. If not, you just be the adult. They wanna bring in a safe animal into this practice, allow it, but you decide and make sure it's safe. or a safe stuffed animal or lovey, you decide. Now tell them you're about to pour healing energy through their head. Let them know the sensation might be warm. Let them know the sensation might be tingly. And begin to see a, a nice ball of warm light above the little one's head. and gently allow it to soak in through their head. Down your little kid self arms, down the torso, tummy, and down each leg and through the ground through the root system. Notice a couple of birds as if we're in the Cinderella movie, carrying a nice little jacket or blanket, something that can be comforting to put around your shoulders. It could be a shawl, a blankie. They come with their beautiful bird energy and they drop this covering over your little kid shoulders. 
It's a comfort. It's nurturing. Feels warm. It, it infuses love and care right into your little kid body. What does this child need from you? Hugged, held. Do you need to play together? Utilize the land you brought this child to. I'll let you go for about three minutes and then I'll pull you back. But enjoy this time to help your little kid self replenish and heal. I'll come back for you in about three minutes. Take a moment to finish where you're at, what you're doing. If you need to stay in this space a little bit longer, just end the meeting and stay there. Stay as long as you need to allow the healing to get as deep as you need it to go. If a practice like this pulls up way too much pain, that's that's your intuition knocking a bit saying, you might need to get some professional help to finish this job. 
your therapist of choice. Might be time to call upon them and get a bit of a tune up. But for others of you, this is just exactly what you need today. If you're ready to come back with us, you would take a couple of breaths. And at your leisure, when you're ready, open your eyes.